Okay, this is a continuation of the never mix engine oils, let's find out. And the reason I just wanted you to know, basically, what we're going to do is change the Honda oil in the vehicle with oils that I had collected and had basically at the farm to reduce the time and the cost that I have. You need to make sure you have the right weight oil, and in this case, it's a 5W20, W being the winter uh, consistency, and that you need to have that actually matches in a good detergent oil. So let me go rearrange the garage and bring in the car. Okay, before I go get the car, number one canister, 5W20 synthetic blend. This, the Napa Gold 7356 is the oil filter. And to drain the engine oil, I have this. I installed on uh, three vehicles so far. This is a uh, I don't think it's Sureflow. I can't remember the name of the company now off the top of my head. But this goes attaches to the Schrader valve and reduces the engine oil. Now I'm going to bring my uh, the car in. I will do another video on this truck changing the engine oil and how to do it under the uh, don't mix engine oils, let's find out. This one here I actually worry quite a bit. I don't worry a lot about it but I do use the best oil. My Tacoma here has always got synthetic oil in it. It has 265,000 miles. The F-150 or F-250 there has 113,000. And this uh, little guy is a 2004 Honda. It has 220,000 miles plus Plus another 10,500, 10,750 miles because it had the meter brake. Setting B A two hundred twenty thousand one hundred and twenty miles. That's thirty two point three on the gas. All right. All right. We're underneath the uh, Honda. It's on jack stands. It also has jacks underneath it. Right there in front of here. Okay, stand by. Right there is the uh, cap for the oil. So let me work that real quick. Let me set the camera so you can see. Okay, you should, should be able to see. The nice thing about this tool is all you have to do is uh,
Okay, cap this on. And then once it goes so far in, you can see the oil starts. So goes the camera. Okay, now this just simply comes off. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to pull out the oil can. Okay, I don't know exactly if I can catch this on camera. Because i got to get my arm up there. Hold on. The oil filter is right, right up there. You should see the 7356. So let me see if I can spin this off. I can. Now let me move the camera and everything to drain this. I got a pan right there. Okay, let's see if I can set this here. Stay, please. Okay, this only holds, I believe, a gallon. Again, got to use the correct weight of oil. This is five quarts, but I may have overfilled it. So what we're going to do is put in a gallon. I think this is most, mostly synthetic blend. I did lower the vehicle, it's no longer on its jacks. Okay, now I'm going to check the oil. Right there, just a little more.
<laughs> All right, we're still recording. The oil light is gone out. Let it run for a minute. Check the oil. Then take it for a run. You'll see that. Stand by. Okay, we're heading up this way. That's Huntsville. That's Limestone County. City of Huntsville. Two hundred and twenty, one hundred and twenty. I gotta write that down. I'll do cleanup when I get back. I need to go get some uh, diesel exhaust fluid at Napa. Regular gas is 319. Come on, transit. Oh, look. Cement truck, dump trucks galore. It is a pleasant day today, so I'm glad I got the oil done. Okay, sorry for the interruption. What? Oh, okay. Now she hung up. Okay, I'm coming up on, uh, here's Bucky's. See if I can get through. Damn, I love this. I absolutely love this. Well, let's make it all. There's Bucky's right there. There's a car wash for Bucky's. That's the road right about up there is where the police are every weekend. They got uh, one of the uh, cop trooper with the vehicle and lights directing traffic because it gets that billy, uh, billy, busy. There's some pretty corn right over there. I don't see a price. This is where I come and get my fuel because it is cheap. I don't buy anything inside normally. Because I usually come here very early in the morning. You can see this is uh, 10, getting on 11 o'clock. Uh, let's see, if you take a look, you can see how busy it is there. And <laughs> it's busy. Uh, I love it. Yeah, don't tell me that three cents off a gallon of gas or whatever it is there doesn't make them show up. Okay, coming up. Yeah, this used to be a simple little road, two lanes. All the way. And now if you take a look, you can see what it's turned into. Nothing over, going to Brown's Ferry. Yeah, there just used to be nothing here. Then they built this exit that we just went over. That was five or eight years ago. There wasn't even an exit here. Well, the good news, the engine hasn't blown up yet. So I must have got all the oil changed out right. Got some oil in it.
and as you can see there they're going to span this to four lanes yeah this this road here literally was the two-lane road actually that's not true it was over there on the other side certain all these houses are appreciating it but anyway now we're going to go down I think this is highway 31 because this used to be I'm pulling over now this this used to be the right hand lane and there wasn't a turn lane you just used to have to sneak in going to head to Napa. So just go down this highway, make a left, make a right, and then uh, we'll go over the train tracks and then we're where we need to be. All right, 58 charge. I'm at Napa. Napa Auto Parts, great store. And of course, it's always the people. Some guy with a nice truck. Must be nice to be rich. <laughs> okay. trick is keeping consistent. Doing something there, cleaning trees. They've cleared trees over there. It looks like they got some burn piles. If you look through the woods. Alright, well I'm just gonna head back home. The end of the video.